Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. We are back with Surviving as a Trader, Surviving Mars. Let's just get started. Alright, we are in another day, as you can tell. We've started building out our hydrogen ship to get us in space. And so far, so good uh, when it comes to these this whole machinery it's looking rather okay a little bit on the wide side but we do need to dress it up a little bit and we're gonna do that today so one thing to do also is kind of set these batteries to recharge so we get a full charge eventually but of course we got to start the day with our daily trading right we're here at the store and we could buy a whole bunch of hydrogen, a whole bunch of um, iron ingots as well. So that's definitely something we're going to do. Ooh, eh, it's a little expensive right now, but it's not too bad. Um, ingots a little bit expensive too, but it's all right. And we'll continue to buy uranium because it doesn't cost too much because we don't get too much as well. So that's a decent chunk of money missing now. <laughs> so that's okay i guess and i don't think i'm gonna sell anything for now because we need the iron for like construction components and things like that but we could check the acquisitions really quick as well okay so nothing really worth trading in both acquisitions and selling but only because we need the iron for the ship so let's get going with that all right, so the ship is once again naked and we need to dress it up. So that's what we're going to have to do today. And while we're dressing it up, we're probably going to edit out the ship just a tiny bit. So it looks a little bit different. So let's try to figure out how this is all going to work out. I like, actually, I like the hydrogen thrusters where they are. Not a big fan of where the... <laughs> Where the um, where the atmospheric thrusters are, especially the side thrust. Side thrust is the afterthought, and so is the front and backwards thrusting. But they look a little bit better than plopping it on just right there. So another piece that I di didn't really like too much is actually is the side thrusting as well for the hydrogen um, thrusters, because honestly, I feel like I prefer this piece right here just to be another hydrogen tank just to make it look cool but that would make it a lot less hydrogen um a lot less hydrogen thrusters that way unless we did conveyor junction boxes right over over here throughout and then we have the hydrogens that way i feel like oh I, I missed one but I feel like that could be a better way to go too, but then we are going to lose the side thrusting for atmosphere. So we do need to place that somewhere else if we can. Um, but yeah, I feel like right now it's looking a little boxy. Which I would probably and likely prefer to not look as boxy and put this round the shape here. And like I said before, we could do the junctions like this. For the hydrogen so that could be a potential thing to change up so if i did something like that it wouldn't look too bad and i was planning to kind of cover up this whole spot here with um steel plates and stuff like that or a box or or, or um armor blocks pretty much right around here and expose some of this outside so that could work still, but I don't know. We, we will lose a lot of kind of thrusters, but I think, and then we would have a lot of hydrogen too, which is a good thing, not necessarily a bad thing. So do we do that or we don't do that? <laughs> kind of the biggest question there. All right, so we're going to make that decision right now. And actually, yes, I think I'm just going to turn that into a tank because that would look 
a little bit better. Actually, not just a little bit better. Significantly better. And I do feel like, actually, we should increase the length of the ship here in the rear. So the tank will be back here and not over here. So in this section, we can add the thruster here. And then we'll throw a tank back here. I think that would look a little bit better. And tank right over there. So double tank. And it's going to be further back, which would have the front here sticking out a little bit more, which is kind of what I wanted initially. So don't know why I didn't even think it that way in, in the very beginning of it. But double tank right here. And we can add thrusters and everything right in the back again. Right there. And as I mentioned before, with that being done, we do lose out on the um, thrusting in the side. But that's okay because we could potentially put it elsewhere if we need to. Yes, I'm not sure... I'm going to do with that just yet, but let's just do this on the same thing on the other side. Double hydrogen tanks on both sides. Front and backward thrusters situated still the same. Now it's <laughs> now the problem is um, side thrusting and upwards and downward thrusting, as you see here. So the converter, the conveyor converter, as this one here was able to generate like three small ports so we could add a whole bunch of them right over there. So now without that, it makes it a little bit more difficult. <laughs> but we could definitely, definitely add thrusting right along the side here for an upward, um, upward thrust for sure. Um, side thrusting, that's the challenge. <laughs> we only have one, two, three, four ports available to do something like that. But we could also add conveyor junctions also. So we could do something like that, that just to add a few more to it. And from here, we can add, I don't know, maybe a, a simple design as sim simple as this. And as you see here, we got two side thrusts now without any issues. Um, simple as that. And we can add one here and one here. So that makes it four. And then we do five, six. If we want to go this route of using the conveyor junctions here. Which I kind of think we should. And that would give us the exact same amount as we had previously, I believe. Kind of works out with the thrusting for side thrust of course we could do the same thing as for bottom thrusting but we could also add it right over here too or a little bit lower if anything i think we could i'm okay with the design as is and we just knock out a few of these um thrusters right here so we could do two three four five five on both sides plus we could add some over here would be a significant amount for for hydrogen thrust so not too bad if we did that. So let's just do one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll add the one over there. Right there. And right over here. And the bottom port right here, we'll leave as is. Don't have to worry about that. And I think this is going to work out a little bit better. And we can dress it up a little bit better as well. With it having it to be like this. Right, there we go. So now we just got to weld it up and hope for the best. Worst part about it is needing to turn them all off so I don't waste the hydrogen. <laughs> okay, I think we're all set there to have them all off. So we took care of side thrusting. We took care of upward thrusting. Well, we didn't fully take care of side thrusting. So let's just add these here really quickly. All right, now we've taken care of all the thrusters so far. And of course, we could add in that design that we previously had as well, which was something like that. 
And this way we could kind of hide this whole section, which we could hide it or we could use the beam blocks instead. So we could add it kind of like this. So we can still see the bars in terms of how much hydrogen we have. I think I would probably prefer to be that way over having a full on block instead. And from here, we need to change the color, but I think we could do a slope block around here or we use the half slope block instead. So it would look something like this and cover it up slightly, but not fully. So we're going to have this half slope block as well, or whatever it's called. Yeah. Half slope <laughs> and kind of leave it like that, exposing the tank that that was kind of the idea I had in mind. I'm not sure how well that's going to really work out. So it's not looking too bad, but of course we need to find a way to extend it all the way up to this point and kind of make it into a, kind of like a corner. Hmm. <laughs> all right. So that's, that's kind of what I was thinking initially. So I, I don't even know what I'm going to do right here to kind of corner that out. Um, that's going to be a bit on the difficult side to do, but it's not looking too bad. But maybe we just continue to build it out this way. We dress it up. And we'll work on situating the front. All right, there you go. So that's that was kind of the idea of how I want to put a shell with the hydrogen tanks and still have it kind of exposed on the top and on the bottom because it's nice and rounded. So we want to kind of keep it open in that case. Here, I just want to have more of a visibility into, into the hydrogen tanks themselves. Although I don't necessarily need beam blocks. I could probably put these graded or barred windows. That could be something to use instead. Let me see what that's going to look like. So if we use the windows, um, the windows might actually be a little bit better actually it, it, but it doesn't give that dip like it does with these beam blocks. So, Hmm, difficult choice, but I think we're going to leave it that way. Okay. Yeah, that should be fine. All right. Now I need to find a block to kind of to <laughs> connect this here. So it could be something like, Hmm, it's not that block. All right, so it looks like it's going to be this block right over here. That's going to do it. And okay, <laughs> it's not the greatest, but it could work. But how do I get it to turn in? Oh, there you go. There's, there is a block for everything <laughs> as you see here. So I'm able to do it. Kind of like that and it just kind of cones it inwards towards the thruster okay so that's gonna take a bit of time to actually situate um so we're gonna have to figure that out really quickly and if we need more thrust upwards we have space right here too so that's looking decent all right we gotta situate this side once again to simulate <laughs> the bottom which it's gonna take some time because i was kind of randomly looking for those blocks but i'm pretty sure we can find them by looking up the name so light armor square slope um right here light armor square. okay so i guess we could just follow along with that <laughs> to kind of get ourselves situated. Okay. So that's not too bad and it nicely inputs inwards. So that's okay. That's yeah, that's not looking terrible. I think we can extend it forward more, but I like it the way it is currently. Um, 
yeah not too bad whatsoever and if we really needed to we can do this and add not full blocks but a few um what's it called black half blocks on the inner piece for fun but looks like we can't do too much because it does get cut off by the tank so maybe we just get rid of that instead and we'll leave it like this we'll just add another block here just in case but i do kind of like this idea I haven't really done something like this before but it looks like a decent decent idea so let's just stick with it all right so that's what that pontoon <laughs> of the hydrogen tank is going to look like so we just got to add the same thing towards the back as well i'm going to add a little bit of scaffolding for me to build off of we're just building off of these light armor slope blocks right here right on the bottom and okay we start curving it out soon um we need our corner ones or half slope blocks here i should say Oop. we'll remove that later all right all done and set for our pontoon arms <laughs> and i can spot where we could put a thruster i mean we don't necessarily need this if we put a thruster here so if we want to put in an atmospheric thruster, that looks like a middle finger, but <laughs> if we add the atmospheric thruster, it might actually look decent. Yeah, that looks okay. Uh, I'm going to do that since we can. And that gives it more definition as well. So that's not too bad. I like that. That's not, that's pretty decent. It'll give us um, two atmosphere thrusters going backwards. That means we can get rid of this one and this one for now. And we can work on the rest of them. We only had four total. <laughs> I thought we had a little more than that, to be honest. When it came to the atmosphere thrusters to, to, to go backwards. That's actually pretty interesting that only had four. But that definitely does help out with the design a bit. And we could put two more over here if we need to. So we can have a total of eight instead of four in this case. Okay. Looks like the batteries are fully recharged. I could leave it on auto for now. And see where that goes goes we probably lose some power because it's probably draining a little bit for the base but probably not i don't know <laughs> we'll see how it goes but at least we were able to remove that aspect of it um in terms of the atmosphere thrusters we definitely could put two more right over here but we still are going to run into a problem on the side thrusting which is i think forever going to be a problem for us <laughs> all right so let's add Kind of the same design right over here so that we can add in those atmosphere thrusters so this is exactly what i meant by when we're putting on the shell we're going to end up editing somewhat of what we can place so now we have a better place for atmosphere thrusters so that we can kind of design it out a little bit better as well so right here i can see that we don't need this one and potentially these two um which is fine but we just got to kind of design this a little bit to give us a little bit of that gap in between as well so if we want to match what's over here we're gonna have to use utilize these blocks right here All right, so that took quite a bit of time to do, but 
with the pontoon arms that we have now and I'm not even done here but with the but part but with the pontoon arms here we were able to add four atmospheric thrusters going backwards and forwards on both sides so total eight thrusters that we didn't have before I think we had a total four for backwards and a total six for forward so with this design it's able to add the additional thrusters that way and that's gonna make life a little bit easier for the ship here so yeah we added one two three four on both sides so once again a total of eight and since we can copy the same thing on the back we now have total eight going forward and backwards, which is not a bad idea. And I also added some upwards or downward thrusts on both sides, just to mimic the same thing as the bottom that we have here. So we'll leave it as that. So honestly, didn't think it would take this long just to build out the pontoons <laughs> or the wings or the arms of this thing, but it did take quite some time which is quite interesting and you see here there's a bit of a gap here and didn't even design that part out but with this new design I think we can actually remove this out of the equation and put it a little bit closer so I'm gonna end up doing that and just pretty much remove this thruster and this thruster and instead of having it kind of like well I'm gonna keep this for fun so the best place to put this would be right over here and same with the other side. I guess we'll just let that drop. <laughs> so we can have the upward thrust right here. And since we're putting it here, that allows us to complete this section of the pontoons because it was kind of blocking it the way we had it so we can add that right there there you go and of course we definitely need some add some colors as well but I think colors is gonna be the next step um, hopefully it wouldn't be too hard to do it would definitely be a lot easier to color it in as we're building but the problem with that is I don't know what color to use so we're just gonna leave it as this I think I have the plastic skin on right yeah plastic armor skin with the white color for pretty much everything I usually try to mimic what color that stands out from just the items itself like the default colors that you can't change like the yellow the green the gray that's one of the easier way to kind of coordinate the, the ship colors a little bit but I think I need to do something right here yep I need to remove this this piece. All right, so that works out for the pontoon arms, forward and back atmospheric thrusters, and hydrogen thrusters. Now, upward thrust, we're okay because we've aligned a whole bunch right here. Five plus the two on the wings or the pontoon arms, so we're good there. We have to encase this, and I think we're gonna have to encase it with. How's that look? That's a little bit odd. Okay. <laughs> so, um, not sure. Let's leave it for now. But we have the downward thrust. I mean, the upward thrust for atmosphere and hydrogen. Now, downwards is something we don't necessarily have. But we kind of could build it the same way. Five here, five there. Which shouldn't be much of a problem I think I'm gonna add it now so that we can just have it there and we got to situate this part where we have the reactor sticking out now without it being able to get coverage so we do need to cover that up as well if we can hmm and it could very well be something along the lines of this slope block or this slope block like this just to cover it up slightly we might do it this way 
I'm just going to design it out like that for now. Yeah, that can kind of work. And here, we could just fill it up as well if we need to. Or we can add more conveyor junctions for upwards and downward thrust too. So those are some options there right now. I think the hardest part was the arms initially, but now we got to finish up the rest. Um, and the rest meaning side thrusting with atmospheric thrusters is one thing. And we still need to design the bottom out right over here, which potentially this is where we put our south side thrust. So like right around here, we can throw some side thrusting as well, or right back here, we could do some I believe not too much, but a decent amount. Or we find a place to stick large atmospheric thrusters <laughs> that's going sideways. A little rough in terms of the side thrust, but we'll, we could figure out soon enough. All right, so new idea with the side thrusting that I just came up with. <laughs> and it's going to involve the side thrusting to be right over here, right over here. So we got one, two, three, four on one side. And we have one, two going the same way. So a total of six side thrusters right now on left and right when we're combining both pontoons or wings or whatever the case is. So that could potentially be slightly enough for us to move sideways, I think. But of course, we also want to design it out a little bit more. So what I did here was basically use the um, light armor slope tips here. And then I used the transition tips for making it a little bit on a larger or higher section. And then transitions down this way again. So that adds a little bit more definition to the, the ship and wing itself, which is a pretty decent idea. I thought <laughs> it worked out fairly okay. So keeping it like this isn't too bad. All right. So as you see there, it just transitions from this half slope into the half slope tip transition into the slope tip right there. So it, it, it does give that extra paddle looking like look to it. It's hard to see with this color, but if I change the color, you'll it'll be able to see it a little bit better than that. But so far, that's kind of the best way that I can think of right now in terms of placing the side thrusting because there's nowhere really else we can place it where it won't look too ridiculous. And keep in mind, that is the key word. <laughs> not looking too ridiculous it still looks not that great but at least it's better than kind of putting it as an, a really bad afterthought and have it extend out of the ship where it might not look great at all so this is what we got to work with for now Okay, I think I covered all sides with that extra width to it. I think I do need a little bit more side thrusting, but not any place we can place them right this moment. Unless we put it kind of like right side to side with this one, which could work, but also work against us at the same time. Because then it's not going to look that great. <laughs> um... That took that one out. Okay, so we need to put blocks here for these things. I'm going to take care of that right there. Okay, so if we were to add one additional thruster, side thrusting, can we do it here and make it look decent? Um, that could work. This is the tail end anyways. Yeah, that could definitely work because... It also matches with this thrusting right here. So I think that's going to be perfect. We're going to definitely go with that. 
and add in the thrusters and of course we'll do something along the top here so it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb as it does right this moment <laughs> okay i think that's gonna do it and we could change this up just a little bit so we could use this slope block now right over here and then we use panels right on top of it if anything to kind of cover it up like so i'll leave it as that for now and yeah i think that's kind of the way that i'm thinking of doing this right this moment oh i disconnect that one all right so that's not looking too bad with the thrusting we could definitely fix it up some more and honestly and obviously i didn't have to really even put in a shell <laughs> because we could have just flown it the way we had it previously although not the best looking thing in the world but this is turning out to be a little bit better looking just a bit <laughs> so it's it's more functional it looks like it works it's gonna work a little bit better in the sense that we do have the atmosphere thrusters in a decent place not exactly how i would like it but it's close and it's functional it looks decent it kind of matches up pretty well looking at it from the side that definitely looks pretty cool that's not too bad definitely needs some coloring <laughs> to it this needs a little bit of work um looks a little bit odd but we'll we'll eventually fix that if we need to but yeah we got more of our atmospheric thrusters up and running perfectly fine uh, we got to cover up the top a little bit more. Again, that's likely going to be with like some plates or panels to kind of cover it up. Here, we just need to situate um, the innards. So the innard. Uh, what did we do here? The innard, we did something like that. Just to do a quick little design. And of course we need something here as well to, to kind of design it out and either we do it straight across like this and i think we're going to add a light right there the spotlight that would be a perfect spot for that yep and that way it wouldn't look too odd with that little bit of a gap there <laughs> so we're not encasing the whole entire ship as you can see the the main idea is just to put a bit of a design to it so it becomes a little bit more functional with the thrusters and kind of protects some portions of the ship or the the, the parts that needs to be protected at least so this gives it an extra kind of look to it and it gives us some lighting so that's perfect um we do need to do something about this as well whether it's using the same kind of slopes here we could do something like this and then that way it climbs up towards that piece to it and right here since we have some stuff underneath it we can kind of hide it with some panels and such as well so we can just grab a panel and kind of go place it like so if we need to and that wouldn't look too bad and the rest here is pretty much kind of uh, I guess it's kind of adding these these things I usually do which is kind of like a band <laughs> so it's something like this that gives some kind of coverage um, so that it doesn't get damaged so we just gotta wrap it around in this case that so just gives that extra little design look to it which isn't too bad but like i said uh, without coloring it is gonna look a little terrible but if we colored it i think it would look a lot better
but that is what I would probably do on the top. We could kind of think it over, but so far, not too bad. I think we'll go with that. And the inner here, we could add more conveyor junctions for sure. If we ever need to add any more of the hydrogen thrusters, we have the opportunity to do so. Um, another case we could do is throw in some atmosphere thrusters downwards. So three here, three there is a total of six, which is probably not enough to lift the ship, <laughs> but it's a potential idea to add that there. But right now I'm just going to add it here with the hydrogen thrusters right there. So we could, in fact, if we need to later down the line, we could stagger them a little bit better. So we could group them here, actually. So like one, two, one, two, one, two, instead of having a straight line. But of course, I like the straight line more than the other. Yeah, then then having it kind of grouped up thicker. But we'll leave that there just in case we do want to change that out. But even look, look at this so far, it's not looking too bad. It's nice and compact. It's kind of like the way I like it. Um, and even back here, we can get rid of one battery and the oxygen tank and put it somewhere else and put the conveyor back here instead of down here. If we can't really figure out a decent design for the bottom. And if we want to keep this thing more um, on the lower end of it or like a low rise kind of thing, <laughs> we have we have the ability to do that. Um, I I don't want to do this right now. I might change this out later, but if we could do kind of like a beam block connection throughout this piece, and it looks like we're missing something right here. <laughs> right there. Okay, it's not bad. So we have this beam block connection for no no real reason, but just want to add it to see what it looks like. And actually, that that doesn't look too bad. It adds a little bit of a design to it, just a tiny bit. We can we can make this work a little bit, or we can make this work somehow, for sure. But if we're gonna put a connector here, we can't use this, or, or we put it towards the connector. Um, but I think we should be okay putting the connector here, to be honest. And I, I really am going to just remove that piece right there because that is unnecessary. So if I did remove that piece, at least it would be up to here in terms of the height. But I'll li leave this part sticking out just a little bit and design it straight through the bottom. And looking through here, it looks like we may be able to put some more stuff down here if we need to. Uh, maybe an antenna or beacon or something like that. But... I think we've got a decent shell of a ship. <laughs> um, if I am going to keep it, the connector in the bottom, then I'm going to have to work this out right here. So I'm thinking of adding this, the same kind of design back here. And we'll stick it out just a tiny bit like that oh like that not not the initial piece <laughs> Oop, there goes some thunder and lightning i didn't put any decoys down so that might be a bad thing <laughs> um yeah all right so from that piece we can do i want to try something a little bit different add like these full blocks first and then these low blocks one that that looks decent. Uh, it looks okay, but I think we could add it a little bit further down, like right there instead. Okay, that might look decent. Um, again with the <laughs> almost like middle finger aspect to it. <laughs> so we're gonna not bring it out too far out, so it can look like that, and it's okay. <laughs> And of course, from here, we just add a nice little bit of a slope piece. Oop. Right there. 
and we could do the same for over here to kind of close it out and we could use this corner piece like so and we add a little bit of a design back here like so and we can round it out if we wanted to or put an edge to it and of course this doesn't look that great as is as it stands but once we put in a color it would definitely look a little bit better <laughs> so yeah there's still a lot more to kind of build out we got to build out the top layer here the top layer there we got to add the colors we got to rethink the bottom if anything but so far so good but i know this has been a but i don't want to keep this episode being too too long and i was, was hoping this to be a two-parter hydrogen ship build but it's gonna become a three-parter because we still need to think of a color scheme and finalize some parts of the design so i hope you guys did enjoy this episode of we've continued to build out this hydrogen ship and kind of dress it up with a bit of a shell so any ideas you have in mind that i should add here leave a comment down below and of course like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye